In a motorsport dominated by easy lefts, hard rights, blind jumps and massive crests, so many have done battle over the years. Today we look at one specific brand that has a massive cult following all over the world and probably the finest tune example in South Africa. So this is what we're working with today, a 2007 WRX STI. This thing is fully worked from the top down, suspension, wheels, engine, it's all been done. So let me take you through a few key features on this amazing machine. So up front we've got a 255, 35, 18 inch and this is a Toyo 888R, really great tire, nice and sticky. Brake setup, we're looking at EBC GD series with yellow stuff just to make sure it stops. It's still running the original Brembo calipers, but when they do go to track use, they've got bigger brakes just to beef it up that extra little bit. And these wheels, this is an original set of Rays or otherwise Volk Racing TE37s. Not a replica, this is the real deal. The exterior of the STI has been left dead stock and let's be honest, why would you want to change it? It comes with all the good bits from the factory. A massive wing, bonnet scoop, flared arches, this thing looks spectacular. The only addition has been a couple of parent fins on the back spoiler just to make sure everything is 100% symmetrical. So just like the exterior, the interior has been kept true to spec. No changes needed here, it's got great seats and a great steering wheel from the factory. The only additions has been a fire extinguisher under the front seat for track use and to accompany that, a four-point racing harness. So the suspension on this SDI has been completely redone. Starting off with the BC Racing coilovers, fully adjustable dampening, ride height and rebound. You're looking at a Casco solid engine and gearbox mount. And then everything from the white line catalog has been chucked in at this polyurethane bushings, anti-lift kit and anti-sway bars. And just to make sure you've got the optimal feel, just like a race car, it's been corner balanced properly. So you know you've got a properly neutral feel and you know exactly what the car is doing no matter what surface you're on. So this SDI has seen a plethora of performance upgrades and one of the most obvious ones is the front mount cooler. Now with the SDIs and the Subarus in particular, they come out with a standard top mount cooler which is a lot smaller and not as efficient. So a really great upgrade over the standard setup is a front mount cooler which makes all the difference. The list of engine modifications for this Subaru is absolutely insane. I don't even know where to begin but we're going to give it a shot. At the heart of this SDI, you'll find an AIG Stage 2 fully forged short block from USA, manly valve springs and retainers, AMS Performance intercooler, Koyo Rad radiator, Deitchworks 1300cc fuel injectors, a Walbro 440 liter fuel pump, a Link G4 Plus standalone ECU system, an HKS EV6 boost controller, a massive ATP GTX 3076 Gen 2 Turbo. And all of this, the final figures at 1.6 bar boost is 330 kilowatts and 600 Newton meters of torque. This thing is awesome absolute track weapon I mean you just want to carve up canyons with this thing all day long beautifully balanced great power delivery the suspension on this car is so well tweaked I mean the polyurethane bushings the coilovers everything is just working in perfect unison but this thing puts such a massive smile on your face just listen to that Wow! I mean, I feel like I'm in a Monte Carlo rally curving through the mountains and uh, Tommy Mackinnon's gonna pop up right in front of me. This thing's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And uh, the tires keeping us firmly planted down is the Toyo Triple Eight R's. Great when they start warming up. And uh, on these roads, I must admit, it's been really, really good on getting grip down. And the four wheel drive is working so hard to keep all this power together. So running up this pass, the G-force on this thing is unbelievable. 
I mean, this is literally a street legal track car. Normally on the four wheel drives, you would uh, feel that you got that little bit of understeer coming through. But because they bumped up the power on this car, you can really feel the rotation and everything underneath you. It just makes such perfect sense. And then keeping you planted, the rubber on your Toyo 888Rs, you just can't go wrong. I just can't get over this thing's power delivery. It's so raw. It's got that little bit of a spool up time down low, but if you keep it in the revs, you're keeping it just over 4,000 RPM. She's in boost and she's ready to let loose. So for me, this is a little bit of a bittersweet reunion because uh, when I was a kid growing up, you know, I think back to the old Max Power UK magazine days and uh, going to the paperweight to go and see what the latest car was or what the latest trends was. And I'm talking like 94, 95. I remember taking one of these magazines to school and showing the guys and I'd never forget there was an old GCA Subaru in there and everybody was like what's that you know I mean never seen one of these on the road my dad's BMW is faster my dad's Merc is faster and, you know I always had a soft spot for the WRX and through all the incarnations you know there's always been the one there's been the STI and they've kept it true to form and uh, that's why I'm just enjoying this car so much the four-wheel drive the turbocharger and the power In a world filled with double clutch automatic gearboxes and fuel efficient grocery getters, it's always good to know that there's still some of these great tuned cars out there, enough to stir the soul and keep your petrol head dreams alive. <laughs>